Watch you strap in. I think it's episode 29, 27. Anyways, today I have uh, this. This came in. This is the Seiko Spirit Shijaro. Um It's a reissue, basically, somewhat a reissue of the uh, Ripley. Uh, but this is just a different colorway. This is the SCED SCED 039. And um, I did a special. A little modification to it. Uh, as soon as it got in, I actually ordered two of these. Well, the other one is the SCED 041, and it's pretty much the opposite. Um, it's, it's mostly black PVD, and the what you see is white, or actually it's actually a silver dial with the with silver subs with the black uh, dial is reversed on the on the other one, and the um, pusher bar on the uh, side here for the chronograph. Um, normally it's black on this one, and it's silver on the other one, and I bought both with the intention of swapping that part, just because I don't like the way it looks with the high contrast and different finish on the sidebar. I wanted it to be the same color and and finish as uh, the, the main case and, and bracelet. So silver with silver, and if you look at the other one I have, the, the 41, that one has uh, the black one that used to be on here, the black pusher bar, and so it's all black. So I think it looks a lot cleaner and uh, more uniform, and I don't know. For me, that just that looks better to me. And uh, yeah, enjoying this. It's on the stock bracelet. It's a bitch to size. Um, I did a quick video on this, and uh, you'll see some people uh, might have posted some on how to size this particular bracelet, but it's no fun. <clears throat> but I got it done, and it's whoops, it's fitting pretty well. So I um, guess that's about it. Um, this is a quartz chronograph. I just like it for its size and, and style, and um, yeah, just I like the asymmetry of it. And um, I think it's very, it's kind of retro yet sort of futuristic as well. That's probably why they were able to use basically this this design but it's a little bit, a little bit different in the colors uh, for the main Ripley character in Aliens from uh, James Cameron back in the mid 80s uh, that had a different chronograph movement and different quartz movement together I forget what it is off the top of my head 7A something <laughs> but um, yeah they don't have that anymore this is uh, working off of a different unit which it is specifically, I'm not sure. I'll figure it out and do a quick review on this uh, at some point. But that's what's on the wrist today. And uh, I think it looks pretty cool like this now. With the matching pusher bar on the right side. Um, and the, the screws I actually took from the other one too. It's, it's, it's silver to match. I did not switch over the, the crown. I wanted to, but I'd have to pop open the case and try to push it out and... Uh, I don't know if I want to deal with it. If it was a screw back, I probably would have done it. But since it's a, um, since it is a, you know, the uh, press on snap back, you got to get that, get a good kind of a case back knife onto the back and try to pry it off. I hate those and I don't want to risk scratching this. So that's why I did not do it. Otherwise, I probably would have swapped that at this point. And um, I just didn't want to risk scratching it. And I don't have the tools to press the case back on. I wouldn't do it by hand. I'd have a crystal press. But still, um, maybe when the time comes for me to change the battery, I'll do that. And I might pull out the crown. If I have the other watch still, then I might swap it. Or I might take the crown out and try to remove the black. Uh, at the very least, perhaps I might even try to paint the, the second hands. It's white right now. It stands out just enough, but I, I wouldn't mind a little splash of color. I'm thinking blue or orange is the likely color that I would probably do. Possibly yellow, but that's basically it. I'm not, not feeling red for some reason. I like blue, and I think if I didn't do blue, yellow or orange would be the next best color to make that second, uh, chronograph seconds hand. Uh, but uh, I'm not in a hurry. I would think maybe I'll wait till again when the battery needs changing and then I have to pop open the back. Then that's when I'll try to move the the movement and, and get to the front of the watch with the, 
the handset and try to repaint them at that time. Okay, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next.